In this Photoshop CS6 tutorial, let's focus on patterns. So one popular website is this uh, website called Brush Easy. And what you do is you click on um, patterns, brusheasy.com. And then you can even search, uh, so if I click on patterns, you can search based on what's popular, usually a safe bet. And I'm going to download this Paisley pattern in this corner here. You can click on download and you can even download without even signing up if you click on not right now. So we download it and we extract it. Note on this website there's also this thing called textures and these textures are simply JPEG files so this is nothing new. But the idea of patterns is kind of interesting. So let's um, extract it and when you extract your file using some kind of <clears throat> um, extractor whether you're using uh, WinRAR or 7-zip or the built-in Windows extractor we're gonna get this uh, pattern file it's a PAT file and what you can do is you can just double click it and by double clicking this pattern file this PAT file it will open up Photoshop so we have Photoshop here and it looks like nothing really happened but actually we do now have access to this pattern notice how I have a blank layer here as a background it's called layer 1 I'll, I'll call this background and if you actually click on the paint bucket tool you can hit the drop down arrow at the top and you can see there are some default built-in patterns so we're not going to use the foreground color we're going to choose the pattern option and you'll notice that the new pattern that you just double clicked on is here so if I click on that double click it we choose it so now we can actually use our paint bucket tool to fill in that beautiful pattern so we can also by hitting this drop down box click on the little gear icon there and we can even load patterns and do it this way let's try one more thing relating to patterns let's try looking at this uh, shape layer we have this shape layer where we have a nice gray button I'm gonna double click this shape and we see this uh, layer style box within the layer style box we can also choose pattern overlay so let me just uh, cancel and hide this background I don't wanna see it right now let's just delete it so I'm gonna go to the layer style and go to pattern overlay click on the middle there we don't want to choose this one here we're going to choose the new one and you can see that the pattern is even available here so you can also change the opacity you can see it turns a bit gray as I turn this down because my default color for the uh, for the for the button is gray but you can see that we can also add the the uh, pattern this way it's also interesting to know that you can even add patterns with a certain blend mode so this is something else you might want to play around with to see what the effect looks like so have fun playing with patterns I hope you like this uh, tutorial just hit that like button thank you